now we're leaving the scenic overlook on the way to Big Lake, Arizona from Eager, Arizona. It's about 30 miles to the lake. This is about 15 miles. Yeah, up on the left, there's a scenic overlook. And uh, so we'll go from here over to the lake now. And uh, what else can I tell you? This is August the 6th, 2024 at about 8, 12 a.m. Arizona time. Beautiful day. Temperature 66 degrees. Elevation here, I'm going to guess 9,000 feet. The lake is 9,000 feet in elevation. Eager and Springerville, Arizona, are 7,000 feet in elevation. So you come up 2,000 feet to the recreation area. You can go to recreation.gov and find out about the campsites at the uh, lake or around the lake big lake arizona and you can also check out the apache national forest uh, for dispersed camping areas maybe find a map where you can go out and do the dispersed camping but yeah now if the phone holder doesn't rattle and the video doesn't fuzz up then that just should work perfectly. If, if, if. So, yeah. But what else can I tell you? It's a beautiful drive. I mean, it's just uh, one of the most scenic drives I've ever been on. And, uh, yeah, would I boondock here? Uh, yeah, I would. If I could find a place to uh, get my Class C motorhome in, towing my car, yeah, I'd probably do that. Why? Because it's beautiful. I mean, and in, in, in the summers when it's hot uh, everywhere else, but why not? We'll check on that. Well, yeah, we're just going to cruise slowly over to the lake. It's about a 500-acre lake in that range. It's a rectangle. It's a long, skinny lake, like between two mountains. It's pretty. It's very pretty. The water's very clear and fresh. And uh, yeah, you, you can catch trout there if you choose to fish. They have a, a store uh, there. In fact, that's where we're gonna go. They have boats to rent and all kinds of stuff. But yeah, the main purpose of this video here, this is the second video going to Big Lake on August the 6th. But just to show you the scenery on the way and uh, yeah, but whenever you're here, I mentioned it in the other video, I'll mention it again, is uh, just be aware that you are up in the elevations. 9,000 feet is even higher in the mountains than Cloudcroft, New Mexico. And you need to breathe deeply occasionally or frequently to get those oxygen molecules together because they're really far apart here at this elevation. And uh, yeah, you, you'll you'll feel like you're not getting enough oxygen and you're not so don't stress yourself out till you've been here a while you know, to really get acclimated to this elevation you'd need to be here at least a week before you started doing your normal uh, exercise activities otherwise I'd say cut it in half or more but this is a Tuesday morning uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of traffic, as in none, and uh, this, that's what I like, man. I, I like drives like this. Beautiful blue sky, forest all around. Uh, every now and then we get in a, a mott of uh, the aspen trees, and, and I just that's, to me, the prettiest tree there is, the aspen. But they only grow... Uh, well, there's a deer right there. You may not see it, but yeah, it's a little uh, mule deer probably. And uh, But the aspen tree, the leaves are heart-shaped and make a clicking noise. Have I said that before? Probably a dozen times, but well, I said it again. There, I've said it again. This is mile marker 403.
as far as the number of this highway, I can't remember all the numbers of these highways, guys. It's on the way to Big Lake from Eager, New Mexico, or Arizona. And you climb, 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 climb. Actually, I think you go up over, I'd say close to 10,000 feet, and then you kind of come down into the lake. The lake's kind of down in a valley between some mountains. But we're in no hurry. I got me a, a sausage egg biscuit. Now, ain't that great? Here's a road off to the way. A lot of roads, man, out into the forest to go camping. Yeah, no kidding, man. For dispersed camping, you couldn't beat it. In fact, I just saw one back there that probably worked for me. It's just, it wasn't far off the highway and it had a pull through. Yeah, we'll check it out on the way back. Yeah, would I, would I do some... Uh, dispersed camping yeah sure I got my uh, Starlink for entertain I got a generator I don't have solar I'd have to run my generator I mean I could get solar but you don't do real well with solar in the forest anyway unless you find you a nice big clearing and, and the Starlink would be difficult probably to get it to work because it has to have a clear sh shot of the sky you know and you look at that forest all around us, not many of those, not many quick wide open. But I'm sure if I put my mind to it, I'd find one. All those little trees on the right hand side now that you're seeing, those are aspen. New ones. They must have had a fire through here years ago because those aspen trees are probably four or five years old. It's so nice to be able to drive 30 miles an hour, you know, and not have traffic backed up behind you. You know, think about going to Yellowstone or some of the big parks like Grand Canyon and stuff. You're not going to do this. You're not going to have a nice, peaceful drive anywhere. These clearings at this high out elevation are beautiful, and, and I'm always looking at the clearings because I think, you know, surely there's got to be one elk out there, but there isn't. Yeah, you got to breathe deeply here to get oxygen that you need. But here's a road here going to the left out into the forest. It's a little rutted, but uh, not too bad. But that would be nice to get right up there on that hill in that clearing and park for a few days. You can do that. You, you just aren't supposed to get, I, I don't think they want you to go more than 100 or 150 yards from the roadway. And you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you pack in, pack it out, like leave no trace, that footprints. Can't think of a better place to be on Tuesday morning, August the 6th, 2024. You know, there must be some cattle around here because I saw some poop, a, a cow patty that was about two feet across, and uh, <coughs> but I haven't seen any cattle. But, you know, bear scat or bear shit, you know, the, uh, they, they, they make big piles. You know, they, yeah, we got a ways to go yet, but that's good. Look at that road in front of us. We're just good to go here, guys. We're going 43. I'm going to slow down. I don't go that fast. Just let her go, guys, because this is, to me, a beautiful day and a beautiful drive. Temperature 65 degrees. And, uh, yeah, I'm not even having to run the AC in the car. There's another place to go right there. I'll have to check all this stuff out. Uh, what does that say? I don't know. Just a road. But see, in a clearing like this, see, I could go right over that hill there and have a, an unbelievable view. Here's another road here. Yeah, we're going to check some of these out on the way back. You're thinking, well, why don't you go check them out now? 
well, because I don't want to. We're going to see Big Lake. Speed limit's 45, I'm going 39. I think I'll slow down to 37. Yeah, you can just pull out on one of these little roads, have you a picnic, spend the day. But I have to tell you this, bring a hat, bring a hat, bring a hat. Wear a long sleeve shirt, long pants, and good shoes. Yeah, this sun at this elevation, it'll toast you. You don't realize it, but it will. There's a car there, is that a camper? Could be. Uh, well, he's got on, a, well, he's take, put, he's taking his shirt off. Now see, that's not the smartest cowboy in the world right there. He wants to get a, he wants to get a tan. He'll get one. He sure will. That's all right, folks. I mean, you know, it takes all kind of people to make a world, and without ignorant people, it would be difficult. The bell curve of intelligence. There's about 4% that don't know what what's happening and 4% that are making it happen. <laughs> you know, the name of this forest, it's, they call it, it's the Apache National Forest, but up here by the lake, if they say it, it's got a sign that says Apache Sit Graves or something National Forest. I don't know why they have that, but they do. I'm going to have a snack of my stuff here that I brought. Enjoy the ride, guys. My videos don't get many views, but is it fuzzing up? I can't really tell. I'm scared to touch it. It looks like it's a little grainy on this side. Let me do this. And help or make it worse. Maybe it made it better, I don't know. <clears throat> It's got on a bicycle. <laughs> it was a hell of a plan, wasn't it, fella? <laughs> Yo. Damn, how, how high is this mountain? <laughs> oh, man. I tried riding a bicycle one time. About, I don't know, six or eight years ago. I bought me a bicycle at Walmart. I don't know how many speeds it had plenty. And um, that's when I was living at near Kingsland, Texas, out in the Texas Hill Country. And I got my new bike home, and I had them assembled at Walmart. So it was fully assembled when I got it home. I jumped on it, and I, I, I coasted down a hill down by the lake rode around by the lake for a little bit on some of, some of the streets there and then I decided to head home well if you go down a hill you got to go up you know look at this thing fuzz up get out of here come on we don't want that it says move back to improve focus you know I really don't worry about this phone but anyway, enough said, about to back, back, back to the bicycle. So I rode around for a while down there. I was coming back. You got to come back up the hill, right? Well, that was the end of the bicycle. <laughs> that was it. I, man, I was straining it. I thought, is this fun? It's fun going downhill. But, you know, the whole world is not downhill, you know. <laughs> it ain't downhill both ways. Well, it looks a little better, but it's still not as good as it can be. 
Let me try something else here. Well, it looks clearer. Let's leave it there and see what happens. Yeah, you know, I, I like for the videos to be, you know, as clear as I can get them because I want you to see what I'm seeing. You know, do you see what I see? Off to the right is a, I thought it was an animal, but it's not. It's a post sticking out of the ground. But yeah, that was the end of the bike. Did I take it back to Walmart? Yeah, got my money back. They said, what was wrong with it? I said, there wasn't anything wrong with the bicycle. Something wrong with me. Isn't that fun though? Just cruise around and do nothing. I mean, is this a hard line? No. I thought we were closer to the lake, but we're not. Maybe this will be a longer video. Who cares? I mean, if you're enjoying it, watch it. If you're not enjoying it, go somewhere else. I mean, pretty simple choice there, isn't it? I watch my own videos sometimes on YouTube because I can't find anything else to watch. You know, everybody's got these outros, intros, and all that stuff. And if you watch any sailing uh, videos, uh, if the guy has a pretty wife, that's all you're going to see is her in a bikini. You know, <clears throat> they never sail. You know, they're, <clears throat> they're always working on their boats. That's it. They're repairing them. Should be getting close now. Famous last words. Is it fuzzing up even on that one? No, it's doing all right. A little different look. That's not a wide angle, that's like 0.7. It's got a it's got a, a one which is like regular stuff, and then you can go to two or you can go to 0 0.7. Well we're at we're at 0.7x on the video. The junction 273, one half mile. Yeah, that's the road that goes over to the Honda Honda. Casino. Pretty good drive across there. There's a few cattle off to the left. Wonder how cows do up here in the winter. Or cattle. What's this thing here? Big Lake Recreation Area. Okay. Apache National Forest. So we're getting here. We don't turn, but do we turn right here? I don't remember turning right. What's this turning right stuff? We gotta turn left. Ha, huh, how about that? There's a little lake right here. I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, it's uh, just a little lake there. It's called Little Lake. There's Big Lake and Little Lake. Now here's the name of it right up here. Right. Uh, is there a road down? No, no, it's not. It just says Big Lake, three miles. Let me put it back on one and see if it fuzzes up. Yep, sure does. Huh, how about that? So I guess we're going to go to 7X for the video. Who cares? As long as they're clear I bet that water in that lake is like ice they got some vault toilets I mean you can actually go down there and do the day use thing do your fishing there's a little road up here to the right I don't fish anymore. Well, I never did. I never was a big on fishing. Never was. Why? I don't really care to eat fish anyway. I 
I like well shrimp. I like you know fried shrimp. I'll eat that. You know, I, I'll eat fish, but it's not my. What, what it is, years ago, many years ago, I got food poisoned on two different things within a year. One was on uh, oysters, raw oysters. Jesus Christ, anybody eats raw oysters like eating snot. But anyway, uh, then uh, I got some. Uh, it was like baked fish at a restaurant. Man, lit me up. Yeah, you know, that food poison crap, I mean, it can be deadly. Of course, for me, ignorant me, I never said a word about it. I just went home and pooped myself to death. I was sitting on the, to never mind, you got the point. I don't want to give you the gruesome details. I'll tell you what funny story. My wife and I, way back when, my first wife and I, went out to eat, came home a couple hours later. We both got food poisoning at, a, at the same time. Well, we only had one toilet. <laughs> Boy, yo, big fish eat little fish. I mean, yeah, you get pretty aggressive when you got it about to explode. Yeah, that was a, we worked it out. We took shifts. You know, I'd, I'd unload as much pressure as I could and then let her unload. <laughs> the honeymoon was over, babe. Honeymoon was definitely over. <laughs> we're getting there, guys. We're, we're, we'll get this thing done. Hang with me. We turn right, right up here. How many times have I said that? About a dozen. <laughs> Comes a guy, here you go, here's some traffic for you. What the hell is that, a snow plow? I don't know. Just a regular old road grader to me. Okay, here we go, guys. Getting, getting warm. Over that hill here on the right is the lake. Big Lake, turn off one quarter mile. Yippee! And we tricked the fuzz by making the video. I don't know, that might even be better for you guys. Y'all might like that better. Except it's got part of the car in it. I, if I turn it up, you see the top. So that's as good as I can do. Okay, here we go, guys. Big Lake, end of Highway 273. Well, that's interesting. Apache National Forest Campgrounds, Big Lake. So that's what you check out on uh, recreation.gov. Big Lake Recreation Area, Apache National Forest. And we'll go right to the marina thing. Camp, camp and campgrounds only. Yeah, this is not uh, dispersed camping here. Uh, what does it say here? Green forest offer more. Prevent wildfires. I wonder who came up with that brilliant thing. I hear this thing doing its clicking again. Yep. I don't know why it does it. I mean, it's tighter. I can't get it any tighter. I'll just go slow and maybe it won't do it. We're not far from the little uh, uh, the marina stuff and the lake. That's, I mean, it's a 500, uh, 450 to 500 acre lake. Beautiful, clear water. I'm sure it's cold as ice. I think this is a, this is, I think that's a dump station on the left there. Uh, yeah, it's got a water hose. Yeah, that's a dump station. 
still because most of the campsites here just have water and electric they do have a few that have a few uh, uh, that have a hookup the lake is off to the right here and uh, do this maybe I can show you a little better picture of it Did it fuzz up no but that's the lake it's just a long <clears throat> well I'd, I'm not gonna say narrow but it's a long lake okay this is uh to the left is rainbow campground and a lot and some of the campgrounds are like tents only i think and then a lot of a lot of the sites are just like boondocking sites that's the marina off to the right there we're going to go right down to it in a second <clears throat> yeah we're right next to the lake right here okay we did nothing with that let's do this here 